brought the T2 out to the middle of one of our farm fields uh, just because it was an open space and I wanted to try uh, to see if the T2 would utilize that cheap little $65 solar panel, the amorphous crystal panel. I got that from Harbor Freight here in the U.S. Uh, it's only a 15 watt panel, but that's all it takes to run the T2 and see if it would do anything as far as charging up a couple of uh, deep cycle Exide uh, batteries, 100 and 105 amp hour batteries. Right now it is, as you can see the clock, late in the afternoon or fairly late. It's, uh, well, you know, five after four. I had it drained down to uh, 25.38, I think it was. So it actually is charging, 25.43. And at this point, with the tailgate like this, we're, I'm charging at 24 volts. You can see that it's connected in series. And I'm also going to connect the first battery with the 12 volt output, which is uh, down right down here. And of course, on the other side, as I previously said, that's the 24 volt output. And when you're operating with a 24 volt primary output, it's usually in resonance at about 19 point, anywhere from 19.3 to 19.5. So we're in 19.3 and we are drawing what looks like uh, 300 and maybe 20 milliamps or less and pretty close to 300 milliamps so we're you know we're only pulling uh, six watts or less so that's hardly any power and if this thing can can do any kind of charging with that little teeny bit it will be what you might consider somewhat impressive and so let me just connect this other cable here. It's right now it's at 2545. We started off at, at uh, 2538 so it is rising and look how late in the afternoon it is. It's, it's more than a quarter after four in the afternoon. So I'm trying to give it the worst of conditions pretty much and the sun keeps going behind clouds and again that's only a 15 watt panel even though we're only drawing 300, uh, 300 milliamps think 300 320 milliamps you can see here on the green meter that uh, we are at 25.5 yes 25.5 and still in resonance at 19.5 for the 24 volt output and it's already 430 so we're still drawing a little over six watts and it just bumped up again to 2546 so we are continuing to charge even though the the sun is dancing around those clouds as you can see again in the reflection here and it's a few minutes later so it's getting pretty late in the afternoon to uh, still be charging up with a cheap little solar panel but we do have the t2 so it's a pretty good test uh, i'm glad i came out to try this and show you guys One last point of relativity, uh, these two deep cycle batteries are part of my home power station that I typically use a, a larger solar panel and the Q3 to charge and they, their standing voltage is usually uh, in 24 volt configuration like they are here. It's at uh, 27.2 volts typically and so for this to be coming up from the 25.38 to 25.46 means it is rising and it may take a little bit longer since our input is so low but the resonance is working and it is charging from such a, a an extremely low input six uh, six watts uh, just incredible that it can even do this at all but it does work and so I just wanted to show you guys today uh, one last shot came up to 2647 still rising a few more minutes later it's not even been an hour from uh, 2538 to 2547. So not bad for uh, six watts of input from a solar panel that's been dancing behind the clouds trying to output its measly little 15 watts, though we're only drawing six. So it was a good test and I'm, I'm glad that I came out today so late in the afternoon to show you guys this. You can tell by the 
by the shadows that it actually is late in the afternoon and uh, that it is quite the remote location we are in the middle of one of my farm fields so thanks a lot for watching